Hey Curly Cam, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. And if you're new here, take one quick second, go down below and hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell button so you never miss the next time I upload. So, in today's video, it's going to be like a little quick one. It's going to be me trying out a new gel. If you're an oldie but a goodie, you know that I have been looking for gels to, you know, style my hair. And... Recently, I revisited the Wetline Extreme Gel, and I got a nice wash and go out of it. But, I still don't know. I'm still searching. And this time, I went in Walmart, and there's like a whole new line in there, and I seen this product. It is the Madam by Madam CJ Walker um, Humidity Shine Styling Gel. And, I thought you know it would be a good idea to try this gel out and I was like okay if I try this gel out what style am I supposed to do and I thought that I should do a nice uh bantu nut out because I haven't done one in a while so why not see what this gel can do for my hair so let's get right into the video so I have already did everything to my hair. I shampooed with the As I Am um, shampoo bar. You know, if you see my video before this one, I think. I don't know. I forgot. But if you seen the video, you know I love this. It is now one in my top faves. Like I love using this. The smell, the lather, love it. I deep conditioned with the Urban Hydration Honey. Um, health and repair deep conditioner and then I used the Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Leave-In Milk and I left it in last night and I didn't do nothing to my hair I just let it you know dry and then it's now the next night and it's time to do something to my hair because I have to go to church in the morning and I do not want to be looking a mess in the morning so I'm, I spray my hair with some of the As I Am Jamaica Black Castor Oil Water. If you haven't seen um, me talk about this, I love this. It's a great refresher kind of spray. Like if you feel like your hair is dry, spray a little bit of this on it. I love it so. So I sprayed my hair with this and now it's time to try the gel. Um, The gel is... It says it has no parabens, no silicones, no drying alcohol, and no mineral oils. The second ingredient is glycerin. Um, it says lock out humidity with this flexible hole gel that defines curls without all of the flaking, crunching, or weighing down on your hair. That's okay. Upon opening it, I smell the gel, and the gel smells really really good but I'm trying to get everything off of the protective top because it was a lot on the top and I ain't trying to throw away no product but it smells really really good and the consistency is the consistency of a jelly as you can see it kind of moves a little bit so I see what I see what they mean about flexible so we're going to see is this going to give me enough hold to do a um, better to not, but also be, you know, nice and soft. So, my hair is pretty much damp right now because I just sprayed it with my Jamaica Black Castor Oil Water. So, I'm going to detangle with my favorite brush. Um, if you don't know about it, I'll leave it linked down below. Um, I like to detangle with this brush because it's so easy to detangle with this brush. Like, it only takes seems like a second now it's time to apply I don't know how much to apply but I'm going to take about that much it's just a tiny bit and whoa whoa I added just a little bit more on the ends just to make sure they're coated definition is some not a lot but some so if you know for my bantu knots I like to twist it up and then 
do the bed. Basically, it's not anything, you know, hard. You just apply the product. I start at the ends first. So I know that my ends could be coated and then work my way up. Because I want the ends to be coated the most so they can stay stuck in the Bantu knot. And then I start twisting. You can do like, you know, it can be loose at the root because you're going to twist it around itself anyway. So it's going to end up getting tighter. And like you just seen, I just take my tangle teaser to smooth it out when I feel like it's a little rough. And then I just, you know, keep on twisting down and then when I get to the ends I just roll it around on my finger and that starts the bantu knot process and it just starts to wrap around itself and you just you know keep on doing the same process and that's the bantu knot I did them smaller than I normally do them, but I think it came out, it's going to come out really, really great because I took down one of them because it didn't look right to me and I seen the definition and I was like, yes, yes. I don't know when I'm going to take my hair down, to be 100% honest, because I like to walk around with my bantu nuts because it's a style, you know, you don't have to do nothing to it. I can just leave it like this. So I might just leave my hair like this for a while or at least until it dries because I feel like it might not dry by tomorrow morning because
this is what it's giving right now but i'm not done with what i want to do to it so i'm gonna come back after i just stretched it picked it or whatever and then we'll see about it then but i like it it's just really shrunken to my head even though i kind of you know figured that with a bantu knot you know but wow so this is the finished look my hair is all done off like since my hair done i might as well do my makeup and i also have to finish a tiktok so that's why i'm all done up but yeah this is my hair. I like it. it. It when I first like took it down, it was looking like I had a curly perm, and I wasn't a fan of that. So I had to stretch it a little bit with my um satin scrunchies, and it was stretched pretty nicely. But I stretched it a little too much in the back, and then it started looking like a mullet, and I wasn't a fan of it. But yeah, other than that, I like my hair. Um, as for the um gel. I'm a fan of it. I really, really like it. It did my hair really nicely. And I feel like, you know, I will use it again. Um, how it say it's an anti-humidity gel. I agree. Because, like, even though my hair is frizzy, I feel like the with the way I took it down, it could have been even frizzier. But it's not. Like, it still looks pretty okay. Let me find a nice curl like this one in the front it's not it has basically no frizz except on the ends which is i feel like fine but yeah like i feel like the anti-humidity on this is fine it, it's great um the price i think it was 8.99 or something like that that's pretty it's not you know high it's not like five dollars either but you know if you would like to buy it, you can buy it. Set Walmart. They have like the whole line there. If you would like to see me try the whole line, you know, comment down below and I can get that video out for y'all. Make sure before you go, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and click that little bell button so you never miss the next time I upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.